What is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mud Runner where we're going to be checking out a brand new map called, I believe this, this map is called Black House Mountain and I was correct, but no, this map is going to be really interesting because I've never one, I've never been here before and judging by the terrain map, it looks like it's got a ton of verticality, like you go up and down so much and it looks like there's a huge variety to the terrain and the trails that you can use. Now I don't think we'll see all the trails in this video, obviously. But at the same time, we can definitely, definitely see quite a few of them. So let's set off. Oh, we got a sign over here. Let's see. Black House Mountain OHV Park. Now that, I mean, it's cool that it gives us that sign. But at the same time, it doesn't really tell us anything. It doesn't say go this way for this or go this way for that. So, look, wow. All right. Well, it gets right down to business. That's for sure. You drop right into rock crawling. The second you leave the garage, which is awesome. You don't have to wait for any of the action to build up. It just, it just throws it at you right from the get-go. I can already tell there's going to be some really good trailing here. Some really tight trailing, too. And I'm going to be using this Jeep and the other Jeep some. So I'm not going to spend, like, the entire time in this Jeep. I mean, I know there's some... There's some people that don't, you know, say, for example, if you don't like this Jeep, don't worry. Because I'm in, in a few more minutes, I'm going to switch to the other Jeep um, and spend some time in that. But, yeah, I mean, that was a... That, they really got it off to a great start with that first trail. Now, let's see if... So, we can either go straight or we can go right. Right looks... Oh, God. Right looks steep. Right looks like it would be a blast to go either up or down. So, we're going to go this way. This thing has the advantage of the fact that it's, like, super insanely lifted. So, it's... It's got a lot of clearance to clear those tires into the fenders when they do flex up. Now, the tires on this thing are huge, too. So, this thing, I mean, it's, it's, ooh, wow, that's steep. This is not, it's not quite as steep as those Rock Bouncer Hills, but it's close. Um, it definitely is on the same level of, like, it, it, it looks, anyway, like it's on the same level of time and planning that went into making, like, went into making these, for sure. What's down here? Oh, I forgot that CCS's trucks don't really have an interior cam. He's not a big fan of interior cam. Like, some people just aren't. And that's fine. Like, it is what it is. It's like, um, some people just prefer it and some people don't. Wow, that is deep mud. That is, that is not what I expected to see. Not what I expected to see at all on this map. I was like, from the way it started off, I figured it was going to be all trails and crawling. But it, it looks like there's some mud here, too. And there's a good bit of it. Like, this is like swampy, marshy mess. And, oh, is that a... That has a decent hill on the other side of it, too. But yeah, man, they definitely did a good job of putting variety here. I love maps that are based around the idea of, like, a, like an off-road park, right? Any map that's based around the idea of an off-road park is already going to be, like, it's already going to be fun. It's just a matter of, like, how has the map been designed because that's one of, that's what's going to determine uh, how, like, how much fun it is and whether or not it is fun. So, get into high. Come on! Oh, why did you do... Mmm, this guy that made this map decided it would be a good idea to make, basically make the ground on this hill super loose and muddy, so you have to do it slowly. Why? What? Boy, why? Why? It, whoa! Woo! Easy. Easy. Whoo, easy. Does it turn right there, or is it just, like, okay, I thought another trail just branched in right there. I guess not. And we might want to back up a bit. Get this, wow, that, that kind of took off in a weird way, too. Go, go, go! Find our way up around the side, and then back to the left. Ooh, please don't flip. Can't go straight into high from that. We can right from automatic, though. Yes, feather it in high a little bit. Oh my god! That was not expected. How am I gonna... How am I gonna fit through that? I mean, I guess we can try, but... Easy does it. Nope! Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> that was nuts! Oh my god, that was insane. Okay, I'm gonna pull it off of the... Uh, like, out of there and try to ease it forward because that's the only way we're going to be able to prevent ourselves from flipping over. Genuinely, that was, that was rough. 
There we go. That's, uh oh, oh no! No, we got a wheel stuck! No, all right, maybe we can, uh, I was gonna say maybe we can drive out of it, but some of them, especially if they're that deep in there, you cannot drive out of. Uh, let's pick, let's, let's pick the other one because, let's put a couple of upgrades on it. This thing, you can just, like, throw a bunch of upgrades on it, like, super quick. Is there only one way out of here? Oh, no, there's two. There's one over here as well. I was thinking there, there, there would have had to have been two ways out of here. Well, main, not necessarily, like, there would have had to have been, but it would, it would, it would make more sense if there were. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Just making sure. It was the only little cutout in the, in the hill. Drop off that rock real quick. Ooh, boy. This is nowhere near as long of the wheelbase as the JKU, so going from a JKU to a JK is a little bit weird because you have to get used to that difference in wheelbase, and you have to, like, tell your mind that, like, yes, we are going to be driving a much shorter vehicle, and yes, that is going to make a difference here, like, a big one. And also, the tune on this thing is very different. I love how this thing flexes, though. I mean, I definitely prefer how this one flexes as opposed to the other one, but the other one just has, like, so much power that it kind of makes up for everything else in the power department. Because usually CCS's trucks will beat out everything else in the power department. I mean, they basically, they're basically all race trucks. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, if you don't like that, then just don't use his trucks. You know what I mean? If you do, then go for it. What's out there? Matter of fact, what's around here, even? What are those? I just want to see what those are. And like what, what all that's used for. Because we should be able to climb down this. Oh yeah, we can climb down this real easy. It definitely feels off-road park-ish. I mean, that's for sure. Drop down. Oh god. Just floor it and go. Oh, I forgot how slow this thing was in high. It is dismally slow and high. So these lanes right here, I guess I was, I was, I saw them on the map and I was wondering if there was anything significant about them, but I guess not. I guess there's nothing really significant about these lanes. I mean, I, I, I was kind of hoping there would be something significant about them because they kind of stood out to me. But I mean, I guess there's nothing really like too crazy about them, but oh man, bet you that is insanely deep. Oh, it's not as crazy as I thought it was. Just go through here nice and easy. Feather it and oh god. Feather it and high. Try not to get too stuck. Come on, just trying to feather it and high so I can Oh, I hit the rock and it instantly, it instantly stalled me out. But once I get on some more packed ground, I should be able to just floor it and power out of it. Yes! It's so crazy to me how slow high range is in this versus the other Jeep. The other Jeep is, like, stupid fast and high. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. If we can get ourselves out of... Oh. Yo, that's actually a really... That, I'm surprised it was able to get itself into a position like that. Let's get... Oh, come on. Ah, I'm just hung up on the diff now. There we go. Oh, crap. Come on. You've got to do it while everything is in motion. Like then. Right then. Yes! 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 That is how you pop, like, pop a Jeep up, up on top of a rock. The rest of this, though, I don't know if this ha thing has quite the capability for that. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a bounce. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, my God. Whoo, that almost got really iffy really quick like really iffy really quick up the side then back to the right dude if we can do this in this jeep i'm gonna be so proud of this little jeep like this is the kind of stuff you come to an off-road park to do like to test the limits of your of your vehicle or your like i mean i almost said test the limits of your jeep but test the limits of whatever you brought be it a jeep toyota built you know truck a truggy a buggy whatever you brought I mean, hell, a side-by-side, -side even. May need to bump it here. Oh, God. Oh, no. I left it in reverse way too long. All right. Hopping up to that side. 
Jeez, caught on the diff again. This is where it gets fun. Like, truly, this is where it gets fun. And I think it may not be the most exciting stuff to, like, to watch, for example. It may not make great television. But, like, but at the, like, at the end of the day, like, some people do like to, like, like to see the process of getting up an obstacle. So, like, this stuff is, it's, this is what's so much fun to me, is, like, the process of figuring out the line up a, like, up a rock. However, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that, so I am going to winch it the last little bit, but, like, rest assured, I know that if I stayed there long enough, I guarantee you that I could make it up that, um, that I can make it up that hill without the winch. It would just take, whoa! Wow, that's a hole that I did not see. Holy crap, that is, like, that came out of nowhere. But yeah, like, I, I guarantee this thing could make it up that hill without using a winch. It's just one of those things that you would have to, like, you would have to really stay there and, and figure it out and, and really, really figure it um, before you uh, before you were, we would be able to make it up. Unless you found the perfect line, like, right from the get-go and just, like, whoop, went straight up the thing. Which does happen sometimes, and it's hilarious when it happens. Uh, let's go in high range for this. Just let it eat up these rocks. Come on. There you go. 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 Dude. Woohoo! Yes. Yo, that was so... Oh my god. There's like a huge lake and everything. Like, man. And it, it's not that big of a climb either. And then like all of a sudden you're way up here. That's nuts. This map's awesome. Like, this map is genuinely, genuinely awesome, and I loved it. Like, I seriously loved it, and I think everybody should go try it out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.